Bring the second leg to the first and repeat the same movement with the second leg. This exercise is intended to strengthen the core muscles with an emphasis on the oblique abdominals and hip flexors of the supporting leg. The external oblique is dominant on the side of the lifted leg and the internal oblique is dominant on the side of the supporting leg. The abdominal muscles stabilize the chest from the top and the pelvis from the bottom. Stabilization of the pelvis and the chest enables stabilization of lumbar lordosis, thus preventing pressure on the lower vertebrae. The transversus abdominis and the multifidious muscles are designed to work in tandem. When activating the abdominal muscles in the stabilizing aspect, use of a rod helps the trainee to feel his body and achieve accurate posture. Use these three points of contact between the rod and the back. 1. Nape 2. Center of the thoracic vertebrae between the shoulder blades and 3. The sacrum Raise one leg pushing it straight backwards and simultaneously lift the opposite arm, arm and back form a line parallel to the floor. Hold for about 8 to 10 seconds. Top view presenting the spinal erectors transversus abdominis and pelvic floor muscles in co-contraction. Keep neutral spine and core contracted. When you co-contract, you wake these muscles up and they work together to create a well-supported core. Keep neutral spine and abdominal bracing throughout the entire exercise. This exercise is intended to strengthen the core muscles with an emphasis on the oblique abdominals and hip flexors of the supported leg. The external oblique is dominant on the side of the lifted leg and the internal oblique is dominant on the side of the supporting leg. All the muscles on the model stabilize the body. I chose to color the rectus abdominis and the obliques in red because they are the dominant stabilizers in this exercise. But this exercise is not intended only for the abdominals, but for all the core muscles working in coordination.